Hello Guardians, Captain Kex here. This video is a celebration of, of reaching a point with the Lorg project when all the items that are relevant to the Destiny lore are sorted in categories or linked to entities to which it connects. If this is the first time you've seen the Lorg or the lore organizational chart, it's a visual representation of the lore of Destiny using the IBM software Analyst Notebook. I have been working on this project for about two years now and probably put around 500 plus hours into it. Time well spent. We are now looking at the chart reader with this, which is the free version you can use to view Analyst Notebook files. So it will not be showing off the actual software because it's heft, it has a hefty price. Uh, I'm doing this live and not, don't have any scripts, so if, the, if I say stupid things, I'm sorry. Uh, so let's sort of, if this is, is the first time you see the Lorg, uh, it's a visual representation of the Lore of Destiny, I said it already. And the project began with the help of a great site, www.htar-collective.net who kindly helped me with the Destiny database that was imported into the Analyst software. Baxter, the founder of Ishtar Collective and a good friend, kindly donated his categorization to me to help me get started. The import, when you import information into Analyst Notebook, it positions every item in a grid with no order whatsoever. It's just equally spaced and in different rows and, and lines. So I had to start with something. So with the help of Baxter's own categories, I could sort of begin to organize the large amount of entities I had. I think there's about uh, just about 5,000 uh, entries in the database. So with the help of his, um, his categorization, I could sort of start using that and moving things to the side and organizing. I'll be showing this off in a little second. So to, to sort of paint the picture, the Analyst Notebook software uses two main things to build what you will see. It's entities and links. Links connect entities and tell the story of how they are connected. So for example, Shax and the Crucible are two entities and the link between them would read runs. So Shax runs the Crucible. Simple, right? Yeah, just apply that on to 5,000 of those entities. And then I also have dialogue, I have some NPC quotes and other stuff that people have found in the world of Destiny. And that's the Lorg chart and what we're looking at right now. So, like I said, I've been working for two years now, categorizing and structuring every item in the database that has any significance to the lore of destiny or could have any significance to the lore of destiny. Yeah, so that means I have read all the entries in the database. And yeah, from the bigger weapon descriptions all down to the grimoire, even down to my favorite item, test. This is a test. So let's see. Now the full software can do all sorts of cool and neat th tricks to analyze data. It can it identify networks uh, and who is sort of in the center of that network. It can find connections. So if I were to mark out Oryx yeah, and then perhaps mark out the speaker and ask the software how they are connected, it will find a path between all the entities that are linked between these two entities. So it can be used as a great research tool going into Destiny 2. So enough chit chat, let's show you what I'm actually been working on. And let's see, where should I start? Oh, let's start with Cabal, they are on this side. So let's go in, it'll take a little, it takes a little while to, to load in. Here we go. It's like coming down for a, for a landing from space, right? Here we go. Getting closer. So here is the cabal. The cabal. And so I've decided to I've decided to structuring uh, structure it using uh, different sort of boxes like this. Damn it, my mouse is pointing out. Um, so here we have information. So let's zoom all the way in. <clears throat> so we have the cabal race. 
I've imported a picture of these beautiful creatures. And below that you have the grimoire and going down. So you can follow these lines down. It's double clicking. That's not a good feature. Uh, here you have Ghost Dragon Cabal and followed by another Ghost Dragon Cabal. So as you can see, I've taken any item that is sort of speaks towards the Cabal, describes the Cabal and put it in this corner. So you have resupply codes and you have deployment orders, Cabal vent with dialogue, the ghost scan. And yeah, a lot of, and this side is the strategic one. I had to sort of, that doesn't contain, pertain to the race, actual race. So going over here, we have <clears throat> the next tile with this, which is the units. So we have the interceptor, the harvester and Goliath tanks. And on this side, we have the Cabal hierarchy, Emperor Dominus going into Primus, Valus, and I've tried to sort of map out how high or low they are in the structure. If there are specific items, I've attached them as well. Down here we have Colossus and Centurion. Here you have one and a screenshot from the game. You can see that one on his little shoulder. And <clears throat> the Colossus actually has one of these uh, insignias too. It's on his right arm. So um, I've been People have been helping me out to find the, all these cool little details that you can find in the game that pertain to lore. Scions to have scalp leeches, for instance, not very known. Over here we have locations connected to them. Again, here I had people helping me going out, finding where could I find Cabal. And if you follow this line, you can see, okay, so uh, the Overwatch is controlled by Siege Dancers. And so it's there will be a lot of links going. So you have to sort of click to find out where does this go because I've tried to make it easier to <laughs> to view it. There's quite a lot of links. Lastly, here we have the legions and their commanders. So up here you have the skyburners, Taon and his bomb brothers, Plurn and Maul. And down here you can see Maul actually has an, his own little insignia. And you have Maul Smallers. And going down you have, like I said, Siege Standards, Blight Legion, their Icon, their Primus. Yeah, so that's sort of, that's how this system works. So over here you can see we have the combat zones where we have two, two different enemies fighting against each other. And you can, let's follow that line. You can see that we have whoop, Vex, Burger, Prohibition. So every sort of major major race in this game has its own box with its own information. So let's zoom out again when you have seen the sort of how does how the Cabal look. That's a little square down on the left hand side, and you, you, as you can see, this is why it has taken me 500 hours to make this there has been a lot of sorting now I let's see what more do I want to show you guys um, oh yeah so let's go down here and look at Osiris so up here we have Osiris he is connected to a lot of stuff so he was very hard to place now I should mention that many people will look at this and go well there's more information about Osiris there is but I've tried to Push, position the entity closest to the thing that it's most relevant to. So some, for instance, information about uh, the, oh, like the uh, Grimoire for Osiris has Ahamkara mentioned, it has Sir, it has the Nine, it has, I think it has six fronts, but it's mostly describing Osiris. So it belongs here and then it links out to two other parts. So. Osiris and the disciple of Osiris will and going down you can find these are the disciples of Osiris sister Lupe sister Fora are mentioned in what I think their quote they have one quote and so each time I find a name I will create one of these boxes to hopefully catch something in in the future 
Up here you have the Cult of Osiris Titans that are seen when you do the Sunbreaker quest line. Not very uh, many people catch that. Allspring has its own category, Fractal Scrolls as well, highly interesting. I position Saint Fourteen close because yeah, he's, he goes and looks for Osiris and never returns. Let's zoom out a little bit again. So that's how this structure works. Down here you have sort of, here we have guardians. Guardian powers are positioned by what, what type of light they use. So let's go in a little bit. We are on the way. Wow, that's dark. Hunter subclasses are here. Items that describe the blade answer, items that describe the arc blade. And yeah. So that's the Lorg. It's massive, as you can see, there are a lot of lines. And I can even sort of add more because these aren't all the lines. Like if we do like this reveal hidden, this could break this out. Oh, there we go. Now it's a real spider web. So this is how it really looks. This is sort of my the unclean cupboard I have. This are this is all the links, but I have removed most of them because they are very they're not that important they perhaps link one mention or as you can see up here Eris comments a lot on the hive that are up here oh and if you want to see how i try to <laughs> analyze the the books of sorrow that's here and these lines are even there when you don't have so yeah there's a lot of information in the books of sorrow so yeah, that's the lore chart. And let's see, let's end with some, can I remove all these? Round. There we go, looks a little bit prettier. So I, I have I have so many people to thank for, for support and for help. I mean, I have had people from the Ghost Stories fan chat going out, scouting out areas for me. Let's go actually up to the thank you area and just just leave it here. Um, like I said, it's our collective. Ghost stories have been a huge help to me. And I have collaborations with my own games. My name is Bife with Focus Fire Chat with Destiny the Warcast. I've been on some of these shows as well. I am. I, it simply blows my mind that you people will want to listen to my weird ramblings because I mean I. Some things do stick when you read 5,000 entries, right? And yeah, I mean, I heard that someone even mentioned me on, on DestinyCon. It's such an honor. I do not deserve it. I'm just a very nerdy guy who does a very, very extremely nerdy thing. And uh, yeah. So thank you, everyone, for your support. I mean, it, that's what keeps me going. Um, your support for this, your support for my small... YouTube channel where I find well I where I take these small unimportant semi-important uh, stories that I found in Destiny and make a little video about them. Please check that out if you want to support me and thank you Baxter for the database and everyone who has promoted my work. I'm so humbled that you would even mention me and that you find my work interesting enough to discuss even on, on Guardian Con as I mentioned. So if you want to find information, how to download it or how to view PDF extracts or exports of it, I will put information in the description of this, um, this video. So yeah, thank you and uh, carry on guardians.